what's up guys welcome to another video so in this tutorial i want to show you how to display uh, labels uh, in google Earth pro after you've converted a shape file into kml so we all know that uh, when you convert lines or polygons uh, it's, not, it's actually not possible to show the labels inside the google Earth. so uh, there is actually a trick on how you can go about it and that's uh, what i'm going to show you today uh, so if i open up uh, <coughs> the uh, the arcgs desktop application i have a drawing and uh, i'm going to convert this one to uh, kml so before i do that let me just open up the the line or the polygon I'm going to open up the attribute table. So this is the attribute table. You can see that uh, there's nothing much. Uh, and I'm going to actually this uh, polygon or the this is a parcel of land actually that I've just uh, digitized from this survey plan. So I got the uh, coordinates of the beacons of this parcel and then I did uh, then I did uh, digitize the uh, property boundary from that so what I'm going to do I'm going to add the labels and the labels are going to be the uh, LR numbers of these parcels of lands uh, so in order to do that in ArcGIS uh, if you want to add the, the labels first of all you need to add fields inside the attribute table going to open up the attribute table and make sure that you are not uh, in editing session so click on these table options on that on that small uh, arrow and then add fields the field that we're going to add let's call it just a name like that and then the data type uh, we are going to select text and uh, let's make it uh, 25 characters long okay like that so uh, if we minimize that or uh, and then we open up the the drawing on the uh, survey plan so we are going to add uh, the LR numbers on the respective uh, parcels of land so uh, in order to uh, do that or to add the, the the LR numbers on each uh, parcel we need to start editing we need to start editing session so click on editor then start editing and then if I select this one it's going to highlight the parcels that are uh, you're going to edit or to add the name so from the part from uh, and the survey plan you can see that uh, this is the first parcel it corresponds to this one so the lr number is 209 stroke 103 stroke 10 and that's what we're going to add inside that attribute table so so we say that uh, that is lr lr number 209 stroke 103 stroke 10 like so and then we select the second one is and it's going to highlight the uh, uh, the parcel of interest uh, we're going to repeat the same but this time around let me just uh, copy because I'm lazy today and paste so what I'm going to do I'm going to edit the last character from 0 to 11 or uh, from 1 to so uh, then go to editor and then save edits and then stop editing like like so so uh, now we have the we have the polygon that contains uh, the the name what if we just try to let me go to properties and then uh, go to labels uh, labels tab and then select the checkbox so the label field we are going to change that to name and then uh, maybe increase the font to 10 and then change the font color to something like red 
to match the property uh, the bo property boundary and then click apply and then okay it's going to display the uh, the names of the each uh, parcel so if we try to convert this one to uh, KML let's go ahead and try to do that so in order to convert uh, shape file to KML go to toolbox it is actually on the on the on the top of this application click on toolbox and then uh, go to I make sure that uh, if I open up the properties of this uh, shape file and then go to source uh, so you can see that this shape file is actually in uh, WGS 1984 you can convert yours to WG 1984 uh, geographic corner system so let me go back to a toolbox and then go to conversion so so long as we are in wgs 1984 go to conversion conversion tool then uh, we're going to convert to kml so scroll down to up to where we see the kml and then double click on map to kml like that so my map is actually inside wgs1984 it is actually inside here so i'm going to add that i'm going to navigate to where that particular uh, so let me go to uh, labels wgs1984 parklands so and give it time to to populate the table so don't worry uh, it's actually uh, now uh, map document leave it at it as it is uh, data frame leave it the way it is so the output file select where you want to uh, store the output uh, the place i'm going to uh, actually place it on the same folder that uh, then going to create another folder right inside here so if I cl right click on it or right click inside that and then click and create a new folder and then label it as KML uh, KML like so and then so I'm going to name it as KML output like that and then click ok so give it time to actually process or convert the shape file to uh, KML and actually depending on the speed of your computer it can take a while so our file is ready so if I go back to the KML or the folder where we that we created so if I double click on it to open the KML file inside Google Earth Pro now uh, it has actually opened uh, the file but 
interestingly interestingly this uh, the labels are missing and that's what i'm going to show you on how to go around it so let let me just discard that so uh, you realize that uh, from that from that file from that kml file you realize that uh, the points have been labeled uh, so and that's what we're going to the trick that we're going to use to go around that uh, let me open that again uh, so let me open that camel again camel output so if you open that camel file again inside there google at pro So you notice that uh, you notice that uh, the points have been labeled. Now we are going to use the points. That's the trick. You're going to use the points to label the, the whatever the uh, the parcels. So in order to do that, we are going to we are going to uh, create points from these polygons. Or you can manually digitize the points inside these uh, polygons and again then give them give the the points the same attribute as the uh, polygons but uh, that's quite uh, a long procedure I'm going to actually directly convert uh, points from the polygons so in order to do that open the act toolbox again go to data management tool and then go to features so under features go to feature to points the shortcut is go to search and then type feature to point like that and then click enter and then go to data management the first one the first uh, selection so the input feature is uh, the input feature is the polygon we are going to convert the polygon uh, we are going to create points from the polygon so passes and we're going to store the parcels right inside the folder that we created it's uh, actually inside here Say that this, then go to call it point label point label point label, then uh, save and click okay, and then. It's going to take a minute so now we have points uh, from we have created points from the polygons and uh, as you can see the attributes uh, are the same as the ones uh, as the polygons so uh, in order to we are going to deselect the labels of the uh, parcels and then we are going to open uh, properties go to labels uh, select the first checkbox and then the label feed uh, should be name uh, so let's make that font size to 10 uh, font color red bold up 
apply and then okay and now uh, we want to reduce or we want to get rid of the you can't get rid of the points we're just going to make reduce the size to zero so that do, they don't appear inside our KML. So go to uh, symbol selector, then reduce the size to zero. Now we only have labels. So this way, if you convert uh, this uh, shape file to KML, uh, you'll be sure that uh, the labels will be shown, but the points won't be shown. So so that's the trick so let's go back to conversion tool uh, go to act, act toolbox then go to conversion tool uh, back to map to uh, KML select the uh, so it's inside not really so inside the KML and then uh, let's add one like that then click OK and OK so give it like a minute and uh, the conversion process is complete so if we double click to open the KML file again inside the Google Earth Pro You, you now realize that uh, the labels have, have actually been shown. So if we zoom in uh, sufficiently, You can now see that uh, the labels have been displayed uh, in respect to the uh, the parcels as shown in this uh, survey plan. So you can see uh, this LR number 209 stroke 103 stroke 10 is that one and then stroke 11 is this one. So that's the trick that you can use to display uh, labels for polygons. You can also use the same trick to label uh, the lines uh, inside the Google Earth Pro. So guys, uh, that's the, uh, the technique that you can use and uh, that marks the end of this tutorial. Uh, see you in the next one.